is great in the city. And over recent years, there's been an increasing number of charging points emerging on our high streets. But for longer journeys, things can get a little bit trickier. If you're a smoother driver, you'll definitely benefit with an electric car. In terms of the weather, that's another impact that can, that can affect electric car range. Generally, when it's colder, range full. Uh, you might expect to see something like a 20%, maybe 25% drop off in, in range, get the most extreme points in winter. Uh, weight also is an impact, so if you have a heavy load, that will give you a lower range as well. But if you do run out of juice on a longer journey, then most motorway service stations do have chargers. And in the majority of cases, they will have rapid chargers. But rapid means different things to different cars. It's not only about how fast the charging point is, but also the speed your car can charge. The combination determining how long a stop you'd need to make at the services. Most motorways have 50 kilowatt chargers. An average electric car would be able to boost its battery by 90 miles in half an hour at once. Here on this forecourt, though, the chargers can triple that power. If I'm taking the car on a long journey, I need to first check to see where the chargers are and if they're working, and then I need to plan uh, for the charger beyond that in case they're busy. So planning is definitely required to drive long distances, but if you are near a motorway and you have some time to spare, you should be okay. In rural areas, though, the electric car revolution may be harder to kickstart. There are certainly comparisons with electric vehicle charging infrastructure and broadband. There's lots of private investment going into EV charge points, but it's focused very much on urban areas where those companies are going to make a return. In rural areas where it's more sparsely populated, there aren't the same returns, so they're not being prioritised by those, those companies. 